I'll take a look through the games for sure. Thank you. All Appreciate right. you bringing them out. is actually a really great movie. I actually own this on VHS. Flight of the Navigator. The kids took on the movie. That's awesome. They Did they? The, uh, the video games ah, they took all the good stuff, huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. I thought I came across one and there's still one. Oh, down in here you think? Oh, no, right here. Oh, there's something over there. PlayStation? Oh, yeah, PlayStation 2. Football. I'll pass on that one, but thank you, though. Good morning. Yeah. Doug Dynasty. What do we got here, guys? Give us the Nintendo DS games. <laughs> this is kind of cool. Two dollars. It's not horrible. Maybe we'll see. Oh, hey, look! <laughs> Just chilling right here. Fifty though. That's not a bad price, but I've got like three of these apples, so I'm gonna probably pass on that. Now, guys, here's something else that could be worth picking up. We got a Hitachi DVD. VHS VCR combo. Guys, they brought out a 360. Let's see which one this is. Oh, I don't not like to deal with 360s. But controllers though, maybe. I don't know if they would want to sell the controllers separate. A couple of controllers. Saw both of these. Any idea if this stuff... Oh, nice, you found games. Any idea if this stuff is still working, or is it kind of a gamble, or what you think? It's probably a gamble. Okay. I'd definitely be interested in some of the games, for well, sure. We, we, we gamble with you, we work. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay. if you want to just set them up here, I'll look through them all. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. If you make an offer... Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I might, might be interested in these. And, yeah, I'll... I'll take a look through the games for sure. Thank you. All Appreciate right. you bringing them out. I'll do it. <laughs> Thank you. All right, guys. Clone Wars. It's a fun one. We got some Skylander games. We got lots of Lego games here. Ooh, there we go. Super Mario Galaxy. Definitely would be interested in that one. There we go. Here's a couple more. Found some more? Yeah. Okay. I'll have a look. Thank you. Oh, another one? Yeah. I saw this one in the box, this but the... kind of more after the games than the consoles. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got it. Yeah. You guys got a lot of games for sure. It is a lot of games. Yeah. Do you think there, there's more coming out too maybe? Or is it, this might be everything? Eventually. Guys, $2 a piece for everything. The controllers were $2. I asked them how much they wanted for games and they said just $2 each. So I kind of just cherry picked the ones I was after. There was other stuff in there. There was a couple of consoles, but honestly, we have so many Nintendo Wii consoles. I did not want to pick up another one. And then the Xbox 360s, I kind of like to pass on time to time just because you don't really know if they're going to have the red ring. But guys, $20 for all of this stuff, an amazing deal. Look at this. Look at this. This is kind of cool. This is actually kind of cool, too. I'm going to pick up both of these. 25 cents each. And these are Polly Pockets. I think we're going to pick all four of these up, too. Let's see what else we got. Whoa! What do we got in here? How's that? That looks interesting. Definitely picked that up. I was looking at this, though. 
bucks. Mizuno. Maybe. All right, guys, we paid 10 bucks for everything in this bag. We got a few things that we're gonna flip, a few things that we might keep, and then a couple of gifts, and then the banger of the bunch. We got some boiled peanuts. Let's go. Found some games. Aww. Hey. Look at this. What? 1996. That's cool. Let's see what else we got in here. That's cool. What? All right, found another one. Look who's at the bottom. Hey. All right, everyone. We are just chilling on the floor of the game room, and I just wanted to show you all the things that we picked up today. So we got a couple of interesting things here, some stuff we're going to keep, some stuff we're going to sell off, and a few gifts for other people. We're going to start off with, I think, what might be one of my favorite things that we picked up. I don't know what this is from. I don't know if this is like Burger King or McDonald's or something, but look at this. You got Sonic, you got Tails, you got Robotnik, but look at this on top. It has a Sega Genesis just chilling on the TV, 1994 Sega. So this looks like it connects to other things. Oh, you know what? It is McDonald's. So this is just really cool. I just love coming across stuff like this, especially if I never knew it existed. So I thought this was pretty rad. Next up, we got this little Mario Kart right here. This is pretty awesome. Stuff like this is always great just to kind of throw on your shelf, add a little bit of a display piece there. Next up, we have this green Power Ranger, but it's kind of heavy. So y'all drop a comment and let me know. I don't know, like what is this like from a specific toy line or something? I don't really know. I've just never felt one that was like heavy. Obviously you guys can't feel it right now, but it is like kind of heavy, which is weird. I thought this was pretty cool. Next up, we got a bunch of just like Star Wars little figures. These are just like, I guess like part of like a maybe like a keychain or something like that. You can tell the little hoop on the top, but I thought these were pretty awesome. These were like a quarter a piece. So I don't know, maybe I'm gonna hold on to these and display them, or we might just bundle them up. Maybe somebody out there would be interested in getting a few of these. I don't really know, but they were just too cool. I did not want to leave them behind. So look at that. And you got the little Star Wars, little keychain. These look like maybe they come out of those little blind bags. And then, yeah, so got that one one more and there we go so they're pretty rad and then we got a little harry potter right here i don't know what this is it maybe like goes on the end of a pencil or something kind of feels like an eraser but i just thought this was kind of cool um and then we got this sonic i think this is actually the second time we've come across this now so we're just gonna give this one away but i thought this was pretty awesome next up let's talk about this i thought this was pretty cool it's just this random pac-man my arcade i think we got it for like two bucks i don't know if this thing has any value but i love pac-man stuff so anytime i see anything pac-man related if it's cheap i pick it up hopefully it ends up working but we'll find out at a later time next up we got three different poly pocket sets now i thought maybe these were going to be vintage but if you do look on the back it shows right there 2018 so we got one we got two and we got three so now the vintage ones can go for some decent amounts these ones being newer i don't really think they're going to go for much so i might just bundle them together and then maybe with the three of them maybe we can sell them for a little bit I don't really know, but we'll see about that a little later. Guys, we did pick up a couple controllers. We got these Xbox. I think they're Xbox 360, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So we got this pink one, this rock candy one. These were two bucks a piece. So I just picked them up. And then we have this purple one. Hopefully they end up working. They look like they're in pretty good shape. So I feel like they're going to end up working. Part of me kind of just wants to hold on to these just because they're so cool looking, but we'll see. And we do have this Xbox 360 controller as well. So $2 controllers at a yard sale. We will always take the gamble on that. These, let's talk about these real quick. We have these random books that we picked up for a quarter a piece, BMX in action. But look at this one skateboard action i actually got this for my buddy jack i sent him a picture of it and he saw the picture of this and was like oh my god what is that like i want that <laughs> he's like dude i'll even give you a quarter i was like no dude don't worry about it but yeah he was pretty stoked and he just loves old school skateboarding so i know he's gonna just throw this up on his shelf and he's just gonna be super stoked on that so pretty cool never seen these before i don't know if they're like part of a set but pretty awesome 
guys let's talk about this before we jump into the game so i've learned recently about just random things that have good value that you can keep an eye out for when you're out game hunting to kind of recoup some of the money maybe even make a little bit of extra money and then use that for something else but guys we got this random baseball glove this one is a mizuno i think is maybe how you pronounce that mmx 123p i don't really know much about baseball gloves but i did see some sold listings on ebay now one of them i saw was going for like 80 dollars. i don't know why and then the other two were going for like 20 or 30 dollars so it might depend on if it's left-handed versus right-handed this definitely looks like a left-handed glove i'm having to like double check while i'm recording so maybe that makes it more valuable i don't know but hey this was three dollars we're just gonna take the risk on it maybe i'll give you guys an update over on instagram or over in the discord if that's something you guys are interested in also the discord is free by the way we're not charging for it or anything like that so y'all make sure to go join if that's something that you're interested in guys let's talk about the games real quick First up, we got Unreal Championship 2 only on Xbox. Now, we are being kind of picky with Xbox titles, but if I see that at the top, I'm probably going to get it. Something about just having like exclusive games for Xbox, I don't know. I just think it's pretty cool. So, we got Unreal Championship 2. Next up, we have Condemned Criminal Origins. Just kind of picked this up on a whim. Now, I know it's not exclusive, but hey whatever these were two dollars a piece so you can't complain for that next up we always got a banger here new super mario bros we love picking up this game i don't know how many times we pick this game up but it's always a great one to pick up next up funny story time guys i actually had this game at one point i picked it up at a yard sale years ago i was hanging out with my buddy and we went to go get pizza and for some reason at the time i thought it was a great idea to trade him the game for some pizza i had no idea the game at the time had value and i'm assuming this game still has value you but he was like yeah man i'm down for that <laughs> traded him the game got some pizza it was delicious and then i found out after the game was worth like 40 or 50 bucks and i was like dang that pizza was delicious but i don't know if it was 40 50 bucks delicious but hey i learned a lesson that day and now we finally got the game back i don't know anything about this game but apparently it's pretty fun i feel like a game that has decent value has to be fun maybe not always but hopefully this game ends up being a good one we're gonna find out it is staying in the collection next up we have super mario galaxy always a great game to pick up now what you might think is star wars 3 is gonna fool you it's actually a copy of da, 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 wii sports <laughs> So pretty awesome there. And then guys, we kind of just picked this one up on a whim. I haven't seen this game before, so I figured there was some value with it, but we have NBA Street Home Court for the 360. Hopefully this game ends up being a good sports game to flip. And if not, well, we paid two bucks. Hopefully it's a fun game. Guys, not too bad. This is why I love going to yard sales. You just never really know what type of stuff you're gonna find. Like, look, we got Pac-Man, we got freaking Mario, Polly Pocket. We got this random green ranger that is heavy for some reason. Skateboard books. I don't know. It's just, it's crazy. Y'all just got to go to yard sales. I freaking love going to yard sales. You just never know what type of stuff that you're going to come across. And everything is always so cheap. It is freaking amazing. Now, guys, I was going to end the episode here. But I just went to the pawn shop and ended up scoring a few things. So I wanted to show you guys that stuff too. Let's get into it. All right, guys, we are at the pawn shop and we came across a couple games. God of War, six bucks. And guys, came across another one, six bucks. Pretty good little stack. Here's another one that would have been pretty good, Aliens vs. Predator. It's only six bucks, but it is missing the manual. So because of that, we're going to pass. All right, everyone, we are in the game room and I just wanted to take a quick look at those games that we picked up. The first one is The Amazing Spider-Man on the PS3. I want to say I played this game already on the Wii U or I might have it confused with the sequel. I can't remember right now, but I'm almost positive I've already played this game before. Anyways, for six bucks, this is a pretty good deal. I'll be throwing up a recent sold listing up on the screen. I didn't want to pass on this. So The Amazing Spider-Man, let me know below if you have played this one. Next 
up we've got god of war ascension another game that we paid six dollars for i'll probably do a case swap because this thing is really nasty if not i might try some goo gone and see if we can get rid of all that sticky residue usually it works pretty good for six bucks this game i think is going for around 20 or so so i feel like this was a pretty good deal and guys next up another god of war game to keep an eye out for this is the origins collection i think we've picked this game up like two or maybe three times by now we already have a copy in the collection another game we paid six dollars for and this one is going for quite a bit i don't know exactly why some of these god of war games are starting to spike maybe because like the newer game or like i have no idea y'all let me know below but hey either way finding games for cheap that we can flip use that money to get other games that we want in the collection is what it's all about let's freaking go all right everyone that is going to be it for today's episode i appreciate all of y'all make sure to drop a comment below and let me know what your favorite thing was that you saw in today's video like the video as well and guys until next time peace that pizza was delicious